hi friends welcome to sql server log.com so today in this video we are going to see uh, one function sql lat function uh, this one so uh, we use lag function to access previous rows data as per defined offset value without the use of self join uh, it it's a window function uh, available from sql server 2012 uh, it is useful uh, in comparing current row value from the previous row value so basically it is used for comparison of uh, current value and previous value uh, so i will show you a few examples uh, of this so here i have uh, written couple of queries so this is syntax lag function this lag then scalar expression offset default okay this one over now in over you can uh, use order by clause or partition by clause okay so order by we have taken one example for order by and uh, we have taken one example for partition by okay i'll show you so here i'm uh, selecting uh, a few records from salesperson uh, quota history uh, table uh, from a database and uh, lag function I have used on sales quota uh, this this column this is actual column and I'm using lag uh, function on sales quota uh, with one offset and default is zero so let's see and uh, here I have used where class to filter uh, the data business uh, entity ID 280 and uh, uh, year uh, quota date in 2011 and 12 only so I'll execute it now you can see here uh, quota this is business entity ID uh, quota date sales quota and this is uh, lag sales quota so what is happening here if you can see uh, we have used uh, lag function on sales quota okay on this one and we are getting lag sales quota so actual uh, sales quota value if you can see uh, 1650000.00 so here you can see this this data is coming on the next on the next record and default we have set zero so this zero and uh, this is uh, lagging by one so lagging by one means uh, default first first row it will give this record and lag by one means on the next record after one it will give you this data okay this one this one so basically it is referring to this one and, uh, and which is lag by one okay so this is a default value which we have mentioned here uh, by zero and uh, it is uh, lag by one so it is lagging by one which means on the next record on the next next row okay this is one so this value is coming here this value is coming here okay and uh, this is like uh, if you can see this is year 2011 uh, which we have used here uh, order by year order by year on quota date so in year 2012 this data so basically it is coming here it is coming here and it is coming here so this is uh, lag by one uh, in another example I will show you by uh, example of partition by so in this example 2 I have taken another table uh, we salesperson and uh, we are uh, using lag function on sales ytd column I will show you I'll just execute it and then and explain it so this is the output of this now you can see here uh, I am selecting territory uh, name Canada in North uh, West which I have uh, given in a where clause and business entity ID so business entity ID is coming this column and sales YTD this is actual column and uh, I'm using lag function on sales YTD column this one okay and uh, this is lagging by one and uh, default is zero uh, what is the difference here uh, I'm uh, using partition by uh, clause on territory name okay so territory name I'm using partition by 
territory name so this is one partition canada is one partition and northwest is one partition this is one partition and this is one partition so now it is lagging by one only okay so this value one four five three seven one nine you can see it is coming here which is lagging by one only which means next row only so you, uh, you can refer by this comparing this you can compare this one but if you can see this value is not there okay because we have uh, used partition by clause partition by clause on territory name so next territory is coming here and uh, if you can see again zero is coming which is default value okay because uh, we have used partition by clause so it has partition by Canada and partition by this one so again it is starting from here only and uh, uh, it will it will give you zero default value uh, on lag one uh, lag function and uh, this uh, actual sales ytd uh, value is coming here this value is coming here so basically uh, we use this function for comparison purpose okay so it is useful uh, in comparing current row value from the previous row value uh, i hope uh, you will like this video thank you so much